G'day guys, welcome back. Um, all my gears arrived for my decking, so I've decided to go with that eBay, cheap eBay um, decking stuff. So here it is, and, and the stuff that I'll, I'll need to actually do the job. Well, I think this is all I'll need, but I'll, I'll update you if I need more stuff. But this is what I got. So it's just some of this EVA foam stuff. I went for the dark gray. So it's actually, it's, it's thick stuff, that's six mil, and it's um, yeah, it feels good. Um, bit of acetone, some cloth to, just to clean up all the impurities on on my deck before I do it. A pair of scissors, a couple of Stanley knives, just to cut and probably just a straight edge ruler or something like that. I'm hoping that's all I'll need. Um, I'll I'll get to it. I'll, I reckon I'll probably what I'll do first is um, make it make a plan of um or a layout of my deck and and put in cut make patterns like what I want um in pieces wise because I don't want to lay just lay one whole sheet down because if I stuff it up it's a lot of sheet up to replace. So I'm going to cut into small pieces and try to like a jigsaw and match them in and make, try to make it look a bit pretty and um, and then so it's it's less for me to replace if I damage one and a lot easier so I'm gonna try that and draw it out and like I said you know make a plan so and, and as I say if you follow the plan you plan to fail right so I'll give that a go and then when I'm, I've cleaned up I did some stuff I'll get back to you guys and show you where I'm at and so forth. Cheers guys. Hey guys, I've done a little um, template. If you can see that, that's pretty much the way I'm gonna do it. So then the, the water, cause it sort of curves in, so I'm gonna let the water drain down into the side pockets there. Or well, sorry, for the hatch, it's all sealed, so it's gonna fall in there. And that's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do, the boxes, I've sort of measured all up and the the box that it came with, I'm gonna, I have here some, so I'm gonna use it as a template. First, the, just for the, all the hard stuff, all the corners, all the edges, and I've come up with this idea. I just got a washer, stuck a pen in it, so to give me my distance from the edges. Okay, so it's like, say so I'll, I'll roughly cut it out, what I want, and then so it should it'll be in this shape already, but then what I'll do is I'll go with this and I'll fold it around to give me the the curve pretty much. So and it's adjustable, right? So you just wind it up because of the, the gap from the old gunnel to the new, so I'll just wind it up just to keep it at the top, the old gunnel, and it'll just give me my my distance from the edge. So yeah, I'll probably patent that. So yeah, just look out for it in stores. Probably Bunnings will probably sell it, but yeah, good idea. I've made up there, Oaks, pat in the back. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'll probably um, clean sections at a time so it doesn't get re recontaminated. And then um, I'll do a bit and I'll get back to you. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, what I've done is um, I've measured about a thousand times for the first piece and I've put it down. I've just put a just took a bit of the sticky off, put one side on, just to make sure it lines up. It's gonna be easier to take off if I stuffed up. And then so what I'll do is now I'll lift and I'll peel the rest of it off. Like that. Then I'll go along and push it down. There you go guys, first piece done and um, hopefully I've cleaned it good enough, it should stick, now I'll go on and um, do a few more and I'll get back to you, cheers.
I've sort of finished the first roll, but um, yeah, the second roll I've started on, the bloody texture is not quite right. It, the colour's a bit off, so that's what you get for eBay stuff, but yeah, it's starting to look pretty good apart from that, so don't know, I'm quite anal with things, so I don't know if I can handle it, but see what happens after I get a bit of blood on it. Check that out, guys. The deck is done. The, the actual, the sides sort of come in like that, so I made it like that. There's edges on there to let the water drain into the middle here, so it's because it's sealed, so the water is run down here and onto the floor. That brag mat there, I ordered that from an, some some mob in um, China, so the colour's not quite the same. But also from the guys, I actually got it from eBay, this decking stuff. It's sort of a bit different as well. Like this one's a bit more coarse and this one's real fine. So yeah, well, it is what it is. You know, sure. I don't know if I get the shits with it, I might redo it, but nah, probably not. And then this bottom deck, I I just had a bit of left over bit, so I didn't want to, um. To waste any more so it's sort of the grains going the wrong way compared to the the rest the rest is all going up and down so that's what you guys got to be mindful of is make sure they're all going the same way if not it's just going to look even worse and the color and um, the light trying to be different too so i don't know if you can tell yeah see so you can sort of tell there but um the rest yeah wasn't hard at all guys um all all i used to do it is um this is pretty much all I used. Got my little U boot diagram there just to show me what it's gonna look like, what I was after, the look and what I was happy with it. So I just based off that. That's pretty much all I used it for. Everything else that I used was probably this this dubalaki, I don't know what's called. So yeah, that's just to give me my angles. So the angle's all right. Um, I have scissors, but I didn't really use it. I pretty much just used this. Two dollars from Bunnings. That did the job. Had to you know, break off a few, so it got blunt. This, had to uh, measure up the actual sheets when they came because they're not really square, so you uh, just be careful of that, so I use that. And then my doobie lackey, mate, that gave me my well, this thing gave me my curves, as you can tell, looks good. They're probably the hardest ones to do, is the curves. And then uh, I used some couple of bottle caps. I saw this online, old mate did it, so I can't take credit for that. But yeah, he used that. And yeah, it works good, just gives it, because you, you can't leave it with sharp edges, because that's, that's where it's going to lift up. So yeah, you just need to round it off a bit. But yeah, just... Give it a go, it's not that hard. If I can do it, you know, anyone can. And um, it's, you know, and cost wise, it's probably, I've, I've used two boxes of this stuff. Just, I had, I probably did open a third box if I wanted to, to get the step to go the right direction, but I didn't want to waste it. So um, pretty much a box costs $70. I used two boxes. So that's what, four, uh, 140 bucks. This, this um, thing here, that cost me about 70 bucks. So all about $210 to do this top deck. Um, the bottom part, I reckon it'll take another, another box. So all up, there's three boxes. So three sevens, 21 plus that 70. So 280 bucks it cost me to do all this. Say, say 300 plus all your little miscellaneous stuff. And, um, couple of beers to get you through it but if you're as anal as I am it would take you a bit longer but if you're not I reckon you could knock it up in about three hours yeah so I'll I'll give it a go I'm um, doing this runoff and see 
see how it turns out, you know, how it holds up and how easy the um, the dirt and blood and stuff is to get off. Um, and I'll do a um, six month or after runoff review for you guys. Stay tuned. Cheers. Woo!